All right, everybody, we are back. You know, my uh, next guest tonight, from his terrific work in this studio on Late Night with David Letterman and the films There's Something About Mary, Groundhog Day, and Cabin Boy. Yes, all good work. Currently, you can see him on Everybody Loves Raymond. Please welcome Chris Elliott. Too. Good to have you here, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Listen, uh, listen, before we uh, start with anything, can I uh, say something very sincere to you? Uh, sure, I'd love to hear I it. do not kiss hind end in this business. Now, if you ask anybody, that is the truth. Um, you know, unless you're, you're Spielberg, because, you know, you, you play that one wrong and they find your head on a pike. Right. But um, <laughs> I want to tell you something. You are the real thing. You are not one of those Hollywood pretty boys. Sir, you have it. Okay? Thank you very much. That's exciting. Who knew? That's exciting. That's great. And, uh, <clears throat> And uh, That's, I, I never well, heard that before. No, That's very and, exciting. Uh, everybody uh, tells me that your show is terrific too. So God bless you. That's great. <laughs> you should check That's, it out sometime. I would love to. It's on too late for me. <laughs> Kivo, we could send you tapes. I don't know how to use them. Okay, perfect. I really don't. Now, how about this? Uh, you've been hanging out in the city for uh, a couple of days. I understand. Now, how oh, do you? How city, do you feel? It's just like uh, this the weather, weather man. Is unbelievable. Yeah. I don't know, you guys have all been out there. It's just incredible. I, you know, I. I don't want to be paranoid, and I, I don't want to be, you know, kind of, uh, I don't know, an alarmist here, but um, has it occurred to anybody that Al-Qaeda may have dropped a snow bomb? <laughs> <laughs> Never thought of that. Well, I, I wouldn't put it past those bastards. What are <laughs> <laughs> those devils. I would not do that. Uh -huh. I, but, well, I, uh, I hope, I mean, because we had so much, we had the yeah. 20 inches here. Did you have any trouble, trouble I'm up, getting here? I'm up in Connecticut. No, yeah. I didn't have, uh, I took a snowmobile down, actually. And, uh, you took a snowmobile yeah, here to the... Yeah, and what I did was I picked up Dave and Regis, because they live right near me. And, really? Uh, yeah, I dropped them off first. I run them down. That was nice of you. Yeah, there's always kind of a fight with those guys, you know, who gets to sit in the middle, you know, there's always that kind of thing, <laughs> but, uh, you know, and then the damn New York Post, you know, they're everywhere. They caught a shot of us. I don't know. I think you have it here. Uh, you know, down. The yeah, post? there we oh, are. That's not right. <laughs> yeah. I like your outfit. Yeah. That's. You know the uh, the only the only problem with you know uh, bringing those guys down is that Dave has to stop like every twenty minutes to take a leak. It's just it's ridiculous. <laughs> well, that's what happens. Yeah. You know? No. You know Regis and I are just waiting. He's in the cracker barrel. <laughs> you know, we're waiting for him. But, uh, no, we made it down. Though. That's nice. And what about your family? I know you have Family's a lovely family. Good. How have, are they? Uh, they're doing well. I have two uh, beautiful daughters. I think my daughters are in the audience. They're in the actually. audience here. That's nice. Oh, shot there, they are. there they are. Oh, that's <laughs> right up there. Hi, girls. That's terrific. It's odd today. How are you? Have to. That's uh, that's just for security. That's just something I. You I don't want do. you, you, their identities are yeah, protected and. I gotta say, I'm embarrassed. That actually is a Michael Jackson joke, and I gotta be honest with all of you here. I am sick and tired of the Michael Jackson stuff. Are, are we yeah, all? Exactly. Sick and tired? Yeah. Wow. I mean, come on, this guy is a great entertainer. He entertained us for decades. I mean, you know, enough is enough. Leave the guy alone. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I actually have spent many nights at the Neverland Ranch and had no problems whatsoever. So. You've spent a lot of nights there? Oh, yeah, of course. I, I've been over, I've actually spent uh, a night in bed with Michael Jackson at the Neverland Ranch. So you a, were in bed with him? What happened was we were over <laughs> and... The uh, deal was... Well, we were watching TV mm -hmm. and, you know, I gotta be honest, I'm not one for, for horror movies. Um, but he, he put in one of those Chucky movies. Have, have you ever seen one of those, those things? Those are scary that? movies, yeah. Oh, my God, it's like a doll with a knife, you know, running around the place. And I, I got to tell you, I knew there was no way I was going to be able to sleep alone in that big house. Uh, <laughs> so he invited me in. We had, uh, you know, we had milk. We had cookies. It was uh, perfectly innocent. innocent. And yeah. we got into our pajamas. You know, it was fun. The only weird thing, it was only one pair of pajamas. But that was the only weird thing <laughs> about the whole evening. And, it, you know, he offered you uh -huh, know, not to uh -huh. wear them at all. Yeah. And I said, oh, really? no, no, come on. You know, and he was a perfect gentleman. That uh -huh. was no problem. And in the morning, um, we just, we had uh, breakfast and did some arts and crafts. So. You did arts and crafts? Yeah. yeah. What, did you, what did you make? I Actually, I didn't make anything. I just basically just helped him bleach his penis. <laughs> 
asking a good man to to get in there and help. Well, I was it. I technically that, all I did was hold the dipping bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and there, you know, there was yeah. a lot of ooh, that's cold, that's cold. Yeah. You know, that kind, of stuff. <laughs> kind of fun. You did your part. It sounds like I did what like. I had to do. That's it. Well, this is exciting. You're on Everybody Loves Raymond. I'm on what I think has got to be the funniest sitcom on television. Everyone yeah. Loves Raymond. And yeah. uh, Monday nights uh, at Monday nine nights on at nine. CBS. That's right. And uh, they're uh, starting a whole new storyline that I'm I'm part of. And besides that, I've been doing a lot of uh, theatrical work. I just, uh, I finished a run in uh, Urinetown. You were and, in Urinetown, uh, I was huh? in Urinetown, and I'm jumping into the vagina monologues for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Terrific. And uh, I'm actually in rehearsals right now for uh, Crappy Pants, a whole new Broadway <laughs> show. A Broadway show so, called yeah. Crappy Pants. Yeah. Wow. That's so, nice. like, in about a month, uh, we're coming out with my uh, aptly titled autobiography. I think you have it uh, up there. My, uh, there I'm an incredibly immature moron. <laughs> <It's my autobiography. laughs> we're going to look forward to seeing yeah. Take a look seeing that. that. Well, thank you very much sure. for Thanks coming. For it was so me. terrific to have you here. Terrific. You're a good man to be here. Thank you. Chris Elliott, everybody. We'll take a break, I guess, with Beck. Yeah, well, thank you for...